hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther morfrey so in today's video i want to show you the only day trading strategy that you need in 2022 yes i want to show you a strategy that you can uh you can follow step by step it's very easy it's very profitable that you can start doing 2022 and your forex journey will be different so guys if you're interested continue watching so i am on my trading view right at this moment i will be analyzing aud that is australian dollar versus usd i use four hour time frame and this strategy has three rules so we will go quickly to the three rules before we dive in into the strategy so guys these are my rules for this strategy and i will explain each and every rule number one look for the chart pattern i.e double top head and shoulder when i say look for the chart pattern you have opened your chart you don't know where to begin at least try to identify a chart pattern what is happening try to identify a story behind the movement of the price so for instance if i talk of double top let's say you have your resistance there and the market is approaching that place the double top is a uh, basically uh when the market approaches a resistance it gets rejected then the sellers come in and then buyers try again to touch so this becomes your first stop and this is your second top so if you identify the market before this drop you are more likely to benefit on this trade rather than seeing everything unfolded so in this strategy we want to identify a chart pattern maybe you identify maybe they they can be a double top let's go to the next uh rule wait for candlestick pattern confirmation i bullish engulfing bearish engulfing weak rejection candles sometimes when you want to look for a chart pattern people get in so quickly i would suggest you look for or you wait for candlestick pattern so candlestick pattern really help in this strategy and i'll show you in a while uh you may be waiting for the second top but the candles the candles the buyers have momentum candle and they break this top so that one definitely is not a double top so you wait for a candlestick pattern and have told you what to look for i know by now you know about bullish engulfing bearish engulfing weak rejection candles that are very 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 um, effective in the price action or in the price uh, market so the number three rule for this strategy to work you need to wait for break break uh wait for the break of structure what do i mean let's say for instance the sellers are coming down and this is where the, the sellers are pushing this market down remember there was a stop here there's a zone here so let me let me show you what i mean by break of structure so this one you have to identify that is a zone why did these sellers stop all of a sudden where was this um when the sellers were coming down why did they stop so for this strategy to work you need break of structure you need something like that the market to break and then to retest back so this is what we call break of structures for it to uh for this uh strategy to be effective so you know the rules the first one is look for chart pattern the second one is wait for candlestick pattern confirmation bullish and engulfing bearish and then the third one is wait for the break of structure so if you have the three rules in place now we can go to our chart and try to look um a, a scenario that has all the three involved so this is our this is our current uh chart so um uh, i will just use a playback mode and then we can try to realize what is happening so i'll just use um i can just cut from anywhere the reason why i love uh identifying the market uh the market patterns the charts pattern is because i can be able to know what is going to happen or i can predict let me say i can predict because if i come and see an uptrend an uptrend we we know it's where it is making high highs high lows high highs high lows high highs high lows that's an uptrend and when an uptrend has really gone for a very long time we are looking for maybe a reversal and in a reversal we we want to be 
we want to identify a chart pattern first of all that's our number one rule so you can see our market came here and it's like it had a stopover at this place why did this market just stop all of a sudden? It's just like the same that it stopped there, stopped there. So this market is like it has a habit of stopping and uh, we want to know, can we have, uh, can we do this strategy following our three rules? So guys, what do you do? Uh, we wait. So don't do anything. Before you enter, we want first to look or identify our first uh, our pattern. And in this case, maybe I want to look for a double top. Because if this place uh, is touched like two times or three times, I'll know this is a very key zone and maybe I'll be looking for a reversal. So let's play and then we'll see if we'll get a second touch. So we're just playing to see if we'll get our second touch. So the sellers are coming and we can see the market is approaching to our 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 dark zone the way I've, I've identified. So we are just waiting to see if the market will, will try to approach uh, the same place and then now we can try to see uh, if the strategy will work on this scenario so you just be patient and wait to see if the market will uh, approach that place so this is like two three days of waiting the market still came back to there to the identified zone we had identified this zone so for me the first thing i'll do if you want to uh what I'll tell you a secret, if you want to trade patterns or chart patterns in the market, you need to be intentional. You need to be out there trying to look for patterns. Will they, uh, will they happen? Will they violate my rules? So for me, I was waiting to see the second touch and the second touch means this is a, this can be a potential double top. So this being the first top, this being the second top. The only thing that this uh, pattern can be invalidated is only if the body uh if the body are uh, close above the first top and then i will invalidate that structure so if the body does that already it has it has uh it is invalid the the pattern is invalid so let's see uh, let's wait and see if now we can go ahead to see our second uh we can see our second rule what is our second rule the chart uh, the candlestick pattern in this case you can see this was a very very big momentum candle and all of a sudden the second candle it's a doji or something like sellers are coming in meaning this area is very 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 strong for the buyers even to cross so what do i need i want a, a either a weak rejection candles or I want a bearish engulfing candle. I want to see momentum for sellers for us to go to the third now, the break of structure. So let's play and see if we'll get the bearish engulfing or something of sorts. So we are just waiting. And then we have our second touch. So this means uh, the, the weak rejection means this place. Let me just zoom out. This place has weak rejection. You can see one, two, three, four. So in uh, in my mind, I already know this is a key zone and the market is about to drop because of what? The weak rejection candle. So let's continue and see if we'll get a bearish engulfing candle. Exactly. Uh, we are seeing the momentum of candles. The candles are ready. Uh, the sellers are ready to push this market. So the remaining thing now is to identify... If you know how to trade double top, you need to know the neckline. You need to know where the market, uh, we are waiting for the break of structure. So um, this is where we want the, the structure to be broken so that we can have that rule. So this is the break of structure. So for me, if I was trading double top already, my entry will be at this point. If I was trading only the double top uh, short position, I would have entered with this candle because now there is a momentum candle and my stop loss is just above that high. And then my take profit is on the neckline. Don't target, don't dare to target all the way down. Target just at the neckline. So let's see. And my, uh, I would have entered with the second uh, bearish candle because already I have confirmation it is a key zone. There are some rejection candles, uh, the week's rejection. And then now there are like uh, three, two, two momentum candlestick 
uh, that are indicating sellers have the power to push this market. Let's see if we traded double top how it would have gone. So um, let's see, let's see. So, and then our TP was, uh, it has been hit. So at this moment, if you are just trading the double top, it would have a win, it would have been a winning trade. So for me to, for the strategy I was telling you about is, uh, when this structure or when this zone or, or the, the area is broken, that's when now we have a long term sell. We have a long term bearish movement. And that's what I was, I am looking for because it can sell for like a whole month. So let's see what happens. Will, will this zone hold? Remember the other time this zone was holding, like there was a rejection on this zone. How will this zone behave? So that's our, even our more, we are more interested to know what will happen. So I'll just play to see what will happen. Let's play back. Let's play to see what will happen. So we can see, see guys, the, this big momentum candle indicate that the sellers were ready to push this market down because the candle, the, the full, this candle, we call it a momentum candle. And if you ever see a momentum candle breaking a, a structure or a zone, it indicates that the sellers are now ready to push this market. Now, after break of structure, we just want to see a break and retest. Like I told you, you need to see the retest of this market so that you can start getting in the trade. Remember, guys, when the the uh, when this uh, double top uh, double top structure or this structure is broken, initially on a double top. Uh, uh, double top pattern the market goes back to where it came from so for me in my mind i know the market will one day come to this place when i don't know but for me i know in my mind if it breaks here the price is coming all the way down so for me with ha having that information i am confident to hold my sales i'm confident to be de to be de de trading every day out usd when i wake up i'll just wait for break of structure retest i get my entries so let's continue now we are waiting for the market to come approach this place we want the market and uh, the price to approach this place so that we can know that uh it has broken the structure and retested so let us play and see what happens so you can see it is approaching the the, the area uh let's see yeah we can see it has touched the area like it broke now retested so your entry guys that was your first win now this is your second the second entry the second entry now we are waiting for what already you have seen the break of structure retest of the the same zone now we are waiting for candlestick we are waiting for candlestick pattern for us to to enter this trade because you cannot enter with a, a bullish candle so we just wait there's a candle that you will be waiting either bearish and golfing or multiple weak rejection candles so let me just play and see so so that candle uh exactly so uh with these two candles this candle yes it didn't engulf but the next candle was a momentum candle so my, my entry will be at that place so short position i would have entered in the close of that candle my stop loss that high so where is my take profit my take profit i would either target this zone you can either target on your left you can target these zones remember in my mind i know where the market is approaching even if i extend this market all the way down i will know i'm I'm guided because already the structure has been broken and that is the best thing when the structure has been broken you can even hold this trade so for me i will just target below uh because it's a day trading strategy i'll just target below these those zones so let me just target below those uh uh below let's say here we are targeting let's target here and we are being guided by where the sellers on your left you are being guided by your left place and then now our stop is just high like that so uh, let's see what happens let's see what happens let's see what happens 
So the market respects, whenever the, the structure is broken, the market tends to respect uh, the, 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 the whole thing. So as long as the structure has been broken, you can wait you can wait for for the market to hit your tp because you're not worried these are trades that you're not worried about so there there we go it has hit our take profit guys this is something that i have come to realize if at all you follow the strategy i've shown you the three rule strategy you'll be in a position you'll be in a position to trade effectively because you're not worried I told you what, the market will eventually come here. The market will eventually come here. So if at all we waited, let's say we waited for the market to approach this zone, or it's the next day you are coming. So what do you do? Uh, eventually, I've told you the break of structure. The market will approach uh, a place. Let me now remove this. Uh, that was a winning trade. You can see this area. There's a zone here that the market was not able to break. So the market has broken this place. The market will approach this zone because we are working on the break of structure because already we know this is a downtrend. Now we are looking for more entries. So for me, I will, I will wait for the market to approach this zone again for me to enter because again, this is a zone. So let's see if it will come back here. So for me, uh, I'll be waiting for market to approach that zone for a second or third or fourth entry. So let's see what really happened. So the market broke that structure. So you you'll identify if it breaks this structure, the market continued. Now it can either come here or here. So let's let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what will happen. So the market is approaching our zone. It has touched our first zone. And then now all, all you need to wait is for the candlestick because we don't know if it will be it will be going to the to this structure so we cannot just enter blindly so we just wait for the candle the candlestick will tell us so we can see it is approaching the same zone and this is what happens if you did if you entered immediately if you entered immediately here let me tell you guys if you entered immediately here without the candlestick uh, pattern like a bearish engulfing this trade will be a losing trade because you think Oh, the market when it approaches this zone, it has to come down. No, you have to see a momentum candle. And what do we see here? What do we see? When it approached this zone, I saw a bearish engulfing. I saw a bearish engulfing. So my entry will be at this point. This will, will be where I would have put my entry after this bearish engulfing. So, and then my stop loss will be that zone the black zone because that's where i thought the market will approach and then now my take profit i want now to take it all the way to where i think this market is approaching because i'm being guided by the double top if a double top breaks a neckline it goes back to where it came from that's what i've been trading so let's see if now we we release the trade we have a, we have one two trades from here, we want to trade. From here, we want to trade. Now, the last trade, we want to push it until it hits our TP. So, let's see what happens. And then, we don't want to be stopped out. So, let's play and see what happens. So, the market is approaching the zone. Let's see. And, and this trade can be so easy because you know the direction of the market. You're on the right side. It just need patience. We want to see if the market would have approached our take profit. Remember, one candle is four hours. So these are many hours of waiting, like two days, waiting for the TP to be hit. But it has it would have been a winning trade. So we are just waiting to see what will happen. So um, we are almost ap approaching our take profit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So the market, it's like it is knows that that is a zone. So let's see what happens exactly. And the take profit is hit and all it or it even continued down. So guys, if you waited, if you if you waited for double top, then you waited for he, the, the this place break of structure, and you targeted all the way up to here, you'd have earned all that profit. 
but we trade in intervals like because you are day trading so guys after i've shown you all that and i've shown you the three things that you need to do let me just recap the first thing you need to identify is a chart pattern why was i anticipating for a double top because this market has been trending upwards and a reversal for us to get a reversal it's like you just need a confirmation of a pattern and mostly patterns on an upward trend we get a double top so immediately i got the first top and the second top here i was ready i was ready for me i was ready to 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 enter this market and to target my tp on the neckline the next thing was my trade to my my the, the price to break this structure if it didn't break the structure it would have gone upward and i would not have entered the trade so immediately it break the structure retest you enter again then you you target the the zone uh behind you uh on your left because you cannot target you cannot uh trade blindly like from here all the way here you target these zones and i target this, those zones and eventually the last zone i just i said i want to give it to the last zone i don't want to come out of that trade and maybe you could have entered many position on the way so guys that's my strategy those are the three rules try the three rules and try to be patient because this strategy needs a lot of patience if you don't need uh if you don't have patience you don't wait for candlestick pattern or you don't identify or spot a chart pattern to give you uh to give you more confidence you can even spot a head and shoulder it will give you more confidence that that market is a uh, it will eventually be bearish you can spot um uh um cap and handle you can spot you can spot any any chart pattern as long as as long as you have spotted a chart pattern and then the chart pattern you have assurance on the on the candlestick pattern you're good to go so guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching i really appreciate uh you uh, the support on my channel and i hope you have understood something from this video until next time bye bye Love you.